Well, the city council is considering lifting a ban on pit bulls in the city. The plan would remove the restricted breed ordinance, but several of the council members do want to hear from the community first. As our Tory Mason shows us, Aurora might follow the lead of Castle Rock, where the council there voted unanimously to lift its pit bull ban. You have to be a responsible dog owner. You have to take that seriously. Councilman Charlie Richardson is the owner of a well-behaved Cane Corso, but in the hands of a negligent owner, it could have the reputation that makes pit bulls banned. They were associated with gangs at one time. They were associated with macho, aggressive behavior. They were associated with dog fighting, and we've come a long way. Richardson wants to eliminate the city's pit bull ban. He says it's hard to enforce, and some owners have found ways around it. People are now taking their pit bulls and converting them into service animals. Now, if that isn't a huge loophole... Instead of banning pit bulls, Richardson asked the city's attorney's office to draft a dangerous dog ordinance that punishes behavior instead of breed. My or proposed ordinance could result in a uh, negligent dog owner in having all kinds of additional restrictions put on the dog. He says he doesn't have much support from other council members, but 62 percent of the people asked in his survey support the ban being lifted. I see a lot of pit bulls and pit bull mixes anyway. Um, I mean, they're dogs that need to be rescued. I don't think there should be a ban on a particular species. There should be a ban on, you know, bad owners not teaching the dogs rat. I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado first. Now, a separate ordinance in Aurora would specifically exempt the American bully breed of dog from the city's restricted breed ordinance. As for Richardson, he doesn't expect any action on his proposed ban until November.